arrange the following sentences in order so that a meaningful paragraph is framed and then answer the questions given below it. Okay, let's do this. A, B, C, D, E. Five sentences. I'm going to give you uh, less than 30 seconds because it looks like a story uh, and seems like our subject is Anthony, Anthony boy. So 30 seconds, your time starts now. Sequence B, A, C, E, D. Okay. B E A D C. Okay, okay, wait. I'll take both the sequence. Okay, B A C E D is one sequence. Who gave me that sequence? Faisal. Okay. The war, the battle is between Faisal and Ashish. Ashish's sequence B E A D C. All of you can also put down your sequences, or if you relate to any of these sequences, you can just say. So all of you unanimously agree that B is a topic sentence. Why? Because it introduces the subject. Mr. Anthony was about to start his car to begin his swashbuckling trip to Budapest. Budapest. Uh, what's swashbuckling? I mean, just for us as, you know, knowledge on grammar. What is swashbuckling means? What? Anybody? Any idea? Hey, you don't have to feel sorry, Harshit. Swashbuckling means what? You hate parajumbles as it takes more time to arrange sequence. No, it does not. Not all parajumbles are like that. Uh, Vidya comes up with a new sequence. Interesting. I want to put this down. Anand, B-D-A-E-C. You guys amaze me. Let's put on Anand's also. Different sequence. B-D-A-C-E. Wow, so many sequences. <laughs> okay. So anyway, everybody agrees that B is a... Yeah, swashbuckling is engaging in something daring like like you are up for adventure you want to do something exciting out of the normal like you want to like go crazy yeah swag bring on your swag okay i don't know about that but swashbuckling is to is to be adventurous in spirit you know to, to yeah to get on a daring adventure super so anthony was about to start his car to begin his swashbuckling trip to budapest all right so then what happens so there are two people who've said E follows, which is Vidya and Ashish. Faisal says A follows and then Anand says D follows, okay? So he's about to start his car and then something could have happened, right? Because pay attention to, he was about to do something when something happened. What is that something happening? Which sentence is talking about it? See, A says the officer, which means, remember, Definite article, which means maybe there is a sentence which has already introduced the officer, right? Because when you have the definite article, definite article always only make reference, which means this person, the officer, would have been introduced earlier in some subject, in some sentence. Which sentence is that? Pay attention. Logically think and tell me. Which will it be? Anirudha, you are saying after B, after B, A should come. I am saying... It says the officer, which means it is making reference to the... So, can you identify a sentence which has introduced the officer? E. Before he could do it. What is that it? About to start a car. Before he could start the car, a police officer. See that? I always want you to remember this, okay? A and the. A introduces the subject. See, this is one of the strategy for you to remember. Or in fact, you can look at it as a rule also, right? Whenever I want to introduce a subject, I will use the indefinite article a. When I am making reference to the same subject, I will use the definite article the. Got it? So, sequence wise, this will be first always. Indefinite article. Got it? Sequence always number one. Indefinite article. Sequence two. Definite article the. Okay? So, which means already Faisal out, Anand out, right? The sequence is incorrect. Ashish and Vidya got it and whoever said B, B, good so far. You're, you're on track. Okay, now, so Anthony was about to start his car to begin his washbuckling, blah, blah, blah. Before he could do it, what is that it? About to start the car, a police officer came running towards him. Now, what will be the logical sequence that will follow? Is it A, C or D? You tell me. Sarod says B E A D C. Very confidently he's saying, boss, it has to be Ashish's sequence only. B E A D C. Sarod agrees with uh, Ashish. But let's see if that is correct or not. I don't know. Giresh also says yes, said Saroj. Giresh also says yes, boss. I agree with you. B E A D C. But is that correct? 
Everybody who said A, incorrect. Why? Look at D. It says Anthony stepped out of his car and waited patiently for him. Which means the officer has still not approached him. Hey na? It has to be D, no? Logically. B, E, D. So, he steps out of his car and waits for him patiently. Then, the officer came near him and told him, Hey, don't go to Budapest. B, E, D, A and then C. However, Anthony refused to change his plans because his visa period was expiring. B, E, D, A, C. Whoever got B, E, D, A, C, you are correct. Right? It's pretty easy sequence. Yeah? I can't understand how you guys can get so confused in this sequence. He saw the officer running towards him. So, what did he do? Okay, let me wait for him. Why is this guy coming towards me? Let me see what he has to say. So, he gets out of his car and waits for him patiently. Then the officer comes near him and says, Hey, Anthony, don't go to Budapest. Anthony is like, I don't care. I am going. I, he refused to change his plans because his visa period was expiring. Khatam ho gaya. Right? So, eh, just look at, look at the sequence. Pay attention to uh, hint words. Ask questions. Right? Ask questions. You know this. It's such an easy, one of the most easiest jumble sentence if you ask me. Right? Just think. Just don't go blindly by what you see. So, so all you had to do is a very logical sequence. In just, in terms of, you know, you can put yourself in Anthony's shoes and just go through the entire sequence. It will make sense. It's not difficult at all. There is no need for you to get confused. Right? A, 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 a jumble sentence like this, um, you should be happy if you get a jumble sentence like this in the exam. And you can't afford to make a mistake uh, in this sort of a pattern. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah? So, we got this right? 